My name is Mark Diasco. Um, I'm a postdoc working in Julie Daniels' group, and today we are at the Institute of Ophthalmology uh, at UCL. My name is Carla. I'm from Barcelona, and I'm right now a PhD student in Julie Daniels' lab. So the interesting thing working with Julie Daniels lab is we are a stem cell research group and so I've done my degree in cell biology, I've done a master degree in stem cell research and so it was kind of direct application to the courses I had in the past and I've always been really excited about the stem cell therapies, the possibility of these really particular cells. So since the beginning in my family we have a history of bad sight, both like we all are short-sighted but my grandparents they also have some different diseases and I was really interested in seeing the combination between genetics and ophthalmology. The advantages of working in Julie Daniels' labs are, first of all, we are working in a very friendly atmosphere. It's a really mixed group, so it's internationally really mixed. We have people coming from all over Europe and all over the world, so we have different cultures. Um, it makes a really nice, friendly atmosphere. The other thing is our lab is really open to numerous collaboration with other research group within the UK, within Europe, but also around the world. We have managed to have people going to visit different labs in the past and that's something we really want to keep going. So I think it's a great friendly environment to start with, but we also have the opportunity because we are in UCL, this big university in London, to take part of London Science Life. So we've been participating in Pint of Science for two years and this will be my third year. We usually go to many symposiums and conferences and not even attend, but we also host them here in the Institute. So the project I'm currently working on uh, aims to understand um, the limbaliptelal stem cell niche. So what is the stem cell niche? It's basically the microenvironment in which uh, the, cell, the stem cell is located. And basically I'm trying to understand how the stem cell is communicating uh, with the other cells in the environment. My project is about modeling an iridia in the lab. An iridia is a genetic disorder that is caused by a PAC6 haploinsufficiency. So right now we are using human corneal aniridic cells and put them inside a tissue equivalent that resembles the cornea to see how they behave in this environment. So we compare this with normal cells from normal donors and see if there are any difference between them. Understanding the stem cell niche, in my opinion, uh, is crucial uh, if we want to develop any um, tissue equivalent or for the uh, prospect of regenerative medicine. So I think that sometimes when you're in the lab and you're working with the micro scale, sometimes you forget about the big picture. But I think that in my case, when I started, I had the opportunity to go to an event organized by the UK Association of Aneuridic Patients. And then I had the opportunity to interact with aneuridic patients. It was amazing to see how they get on with their lives, what, they, what their needs are. And, and then I felt like, okay, this is like really, really important. So it would be really exciting um, to use uh, everything we discover about the lumbar stem cell niche in our 3D model of tissue equivalents that we could one day maybe use for the transplantation on the first on man. So that's something really exciting to see is I'm trying to understand the basic uh, function of the niche and that's something we really try to reconstitute in vitro so that we can have further application for the tissue engineering uh, aspect of the, of the thing. So in the future I hope to have laid the groundwork um, with these cells that I'm using so as the new person that comes can start working and can get more cells from different patients and keep working in the same project because of course like it's really hard um, to get a final conclusion but I hope that this will help but, um, the opportunity to start developing new treatments. Mm -hmm.